Another ass kicking. You would think after watching your team get demoralized against Tampa Bay, you would think that Chip Kelly would say, hey, you know, maybe we got to try a little something different, you know, catch these guys off guard. Nope, nope, not Chip. Just runs out the same tired bull BS game plan that didn't work against Tampa Bay, runs it against Detroit, and we got our asses kicked. Um, look, man, it's time for Chip to go. I'm I'm done defending him. Um, you know, I I thought this um offense would be cool, but you know what? NFL defensive coordinators have figured this out, and he's not adjusting. And that's what it boils down to. I mean, there's no consequences for these players when they fuck up. Okay, and they, I'm not even going to go into the whole list. But there was... I'm going to give you the one major thing that I had a major problem with in this game. When Nolan Carroll goes out, and it was, I think, in the second quarter, he broke his foot or he broke his ankle... And they put Eric Rowe comes in, and he's a second-round pick, so he's got to have some talent. And instead of them sliding Maxwell over to Eric or Calvin Johnson, they put Eric Rowe on him. You're just saying, and look, I'm not trying to absolve Eric Rowe because he did suck, but. You're just setting him up to fail, okay? You have no clue or concept what you're doing. And this game, it showed last game, it showed even more in this game because I was thinking an Archfiend, shout out to Archfiend because he mentioned it in his video. There's no way they could play as poorly today as they did against Tampa Bay. <laughs> no. They played even worse. And it's just so sad. I mean, Riley Cooper has no business being on this football team. Miles Austin has no business being on this football team. I mean, you know... And you signed him. You gave Riley Cooper five a five-year contract. You signed Miles Austin. You don't know what you're doing as a GM. And there's one simple fix to get Chip Kelly out of here. And that's is Jeffrey Lurie goes to Chip and says how he's taking over the uh, personnel decisions from here on out. Okay. Because then Chip will leave. He'll go to USC or LSU. I don't care where he goes. I just want him off this team. Okay? He could go coach in the NFL. I don't care. And you thought today, these last two weeks were bad? I would not. It would not at all shock me if the Patriots hung 60 on us. Bill Davis, I can't be too mad at you because you, for the first 10 weeks, you had this defense playing playing hard, you know, and competing. Um, but you got to change. You either you got to change something up, or you got to go too, bro. I mean, I mean, I like you, but we we can't keep having these types of performances. Not in Philly, you know. And by the way, Caleb Sturgis sucks. By the way, but we can't have these keep having these types of performances. You're not in Philly, man. Um, you know, I'm not even excited that Carol... I'm not even going to talk shit on Dallas losing today. I can't. Because that would be very hypocritical. You know, Dallas lost to Carolina. I mean, the one constant is Dallas lost to an undefeated team. Okay? I mean, so... That, I mean, it was going to be a tough game anyway. But at least Carolina, you know, Carolina's, you know, playing for home field advantage. 
I mean, I don't know what Detroit's playing for. They may very well be playing for a playoff part. But that's about all I got right now. It was an embarrassment today. I'm embarrassed to be an Eagles fan. I took my jersey off like midway through the third quarter. And thanks for ruining my um, Thanksgiving, but to everyone who's not an Eagles fan today and doesn't have a game till Sunday, and even you, all you Dallas vid makers that follow me, like T. Spence, uh, D, uh, Vlad, D Town, I almost called you D One Chosen. I don't know, my mind's just fucked up in that game. You know, Roby Reds, and Roby, I get paid next week. I'll hit you up, bro. You know I'm a man of my word. Um, Bad Dog, I mean, shout out to all the people who follow my videos. You know, and don't have a game till Sunday, or or, or on a bye. Um, but that's it. Uh, I'm embarrassed, so I'll see you next week. Uh, I'll still be here, win or lose.